a new way to expose, I, I mean, track the best players in X Defiant? Count me in. Hey guys, Nightfall here, and the other day I put out a video explaining how a lot of these top ranked players on tracker.gg leaderboards are achieving the highest win rates you have ever seen. I won't spoil that for you in case you haven't seen that video yet, or if you want to go check that out now, pause this video, go to my channel, and check it out. But for those of you that have already seen that video, or know what I'm talking about already, and those of you who just came back from watching that video, you now know that if you leave a game in progress before you lose, it won't actually count as a loss on both tracker.gg or your in-game stats page. However, xdloadout.pro, which I'll link in the description of this video, has come bursting onto the scene to help you track your real stats. Some stats are still not 100% accurate due to the various things in the API, and you could check out all the disclaimers that you could see on their page after you sign up. But the biggest W is that this actually tracks the games that you leave as losses, which I'm a huge fan of. All of these players with thousands of games played and have only lost a handful or those that you see on a 400, 500, 600 game winning streak are about to get exposed. And it's even better because I've seen a few that have come out and said that they don't do this and they just five or six stack it. So it'll be a wild ride to see who was cracked out and who was just full of it. This site also has a weapon builder that works super nice and eliminates the time spent in the firing range trying to figure out all the time to kill and all the stuff that makes your gun do what you want it to do. So you should definitely check that out. But I do want to caution you though that some of these stats are not what they seem. As you can see on the disclaimer they have here that they use Ubisoft APIs and sometimes they don't track correctly. And I can't believe I'm about to go over this yet again but I feel like I have to. There have been growing concerns that the in-game KD is inaccurate or frozen for some players. And in a previous video, I did some of my own research and found out that it's not frozen and it does move, but something's still not tracking correctly somewhere. The KD on this website doesn't appear to be accurate either as my main account seems a little higher than it should be. And my other account I used in my previous testing seems way too low. In fact, it doesn't seem too low. I know it's too low. So I'm going to compile all the screenshots of all the games that I played right here. Even though I've already done this before in a spreadsheet when I was making the previous video, just to show you guys where all this adds up. The mistake I made in that previous video is that there were one or two additional games that I played where I went like two and four and oh and two at the start of the game and had to quit because I couldn't finish them. But what I'm finding out is that on both sites that are tracking your kills, I'm being shorted about 50 to 60 kills. So here we go. Just paying attention to the kills, we could see 19, 27, 21 here because this screenshot was actually two kills before I quit. But trust me, I went back and watched the footage from this moment in the game here till the end of it and I got two more kills. The next one's 23, 27, 20, 10, 27, and 41 kills. Now, if you want to throw that into a calculator, feel free, but I'll save you time. That's 215. And that's not including the other two games that I mentioned before, where I went 2 and 4 and 0 oh and 2, or the additional game that I loaded up into, got one kill and left before even dying a single time, just to see how that affected my overall KD. So... Technically, I should be at about 218 kills. So how come both sites are showing I only have 161? These trackers clearly aren't accurate and something is not correct here. But something else you'll also notice is that all the deaths in those screenshots, plus what I mentioned before about the games that I don't have screenshots of, I should be about 218 and 169, which would mean my account would have a KD of 1.289. So I actually made a mistake in my other video and there's nothing wrong with the in-game KD, and I'll stand by that. It's just not rounding up, as you can only see the first number after the decimal, which in-game mine shows as 1.2. So I may have to test this out a little further to double-check this, but with it being 1.289, it's so close to 1.3, 
and it'll be super easy to push that over that mark because it's a new account and doesn't have thousands of kills. But I stand by that the KD in-game is not broken. So I'm once again asking, if somebody feels that their KD is wrong or stuck, feel free to reach out and I'll show you how the math works and how many kills to deaths you'll need to move it either up or down on your in-game stat. And then you can do your own testing. You can go in, play games, see how many kills to deaths you get, do the math yourself and see where it should be. But considering we can't see deaths in game or on any of the current sites that track these stats, it's going to be pretty hard to convince me that your KD isn't working right. Also, huge thanks to the XD loadout Twitter for their quick response here. And it seems that some of my kills may not have been tracked on this account due to me leaving some of the games, which makes sense. That was the reason I made this account to begin with, and that was the test I was running to see if leaving the game actually counted as a loss. So I left quite a few games here. In fact, I think I left more than half of them. But that would mean only some of the games that I left didn't count, but some did, which starts to not make sense. So I also think it could be due to something entirely different, which I just found out shortly before recording this video, and that's the kill assists that you see pop up on your screen actually get counted as kills on your scoreboard. So I'm wondering if those are actually being counted on the site as kills or are they being counted as assists? And to dive a little deeper into that, there are multiple different types of assists in this game. The two I'm gonna focus on are kill assists and damage assists. Kill assist is where you do the majority of damage to a person and then someone else finishes them off. If you check your scoreboard, you actually get a kill for this, not an assist. Then there's a damage assist, which is the normal way that somebody would think of an assist where you do a little damage and then someone else comes in and finishes off the remainder of their health, but it was more than you did, and then you get a damage assist. I actually had to go back and replay my game footage to make sure that this was accurate and I wasn't crazy, and I can confirm that it's true. As you can see here, I have 30 kills and 7 assists. Fast forward a bit within this same game, and we can see here that the grenade that I throw never kills anyone, and the guy that I shot was killed after I died, which pops up on my screen as a kill assist. Now, once I check my scoreboard, I now have 31 kills, even though I didn't actually kill anybody. What may be even stranger is that if you play that back, you may see something a little odd. Check out this player, Goofy, who has 20 kills and 4 assists. And if we go through that same exact sequence, you'll see that in the kill feed, the only person he killed was the same guy that I shot at before, that I got the kill assist for, and somehow now he has two more kills than before, but no more assists. So by me shooting him and doing a majority of damage, and then the other player coming and finishing him off, seemingly this gave me one kill and gave the other player two kills, which makes no sense. So I think somehow this could play a factor into why people are feeling that their KD is incorrect. Maybe the extra kill that they're getting from that, like this player did, aren't being added into your KD, or one is, I, I don't know. My, my brain is mush from trying to figure all this out. All I know for sure is that, Something ain't right. as far as I can tell, the site is relatively new, unless I missed something earlier on. So it should only get better. And one thing I'd really like to see on this site is leaderboards, because apparently the tracker.gg ones are just fried. There's no fixing them at this point. But to finally have a place to check somebody's true win rate is nice to see. And like I said, if you have a real win rate where you're not leaving games to pad your stats, then be brave enough to link your account and make a profile on here so we can see it. Those who have a crazy high win rate that don't make a profile on this site and are going around and showing you only their tracker.gg or their in-game win rate until those either get fixed or reset, are going to seem real sus in the coming weeks. But let me know in the comments what you think of this new site. Do your stats look accurate here, or at least more accurate than what you've seen in-game or on the other website? Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all things X Defiant. And until next time.